Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and you're joining us now for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. So what's Metaphysical Ministry about? Well, it's about the fact that there's much more to life. In fact, 99% of the world that exists, you can't see it, hear, taste, touch, or smell it. So when you learn to be part of other dimensions, and a good way to do that is through meditation, allowing yourself to be open, to experience what you never have. Oh my goodness, your life is going to be so much more exciting and so much richer. We begin every week with a happy share. So it's my happy share this week, something that makes me feel good. Well, the universe told me that I needed to rest this week. And I was really frustrated and upset because I had to spend a lot of the week sleeping because my brain's still healing. And what I realized is the things that I thought were so critical to get done last week. It doesn't matter if they get done next week or even the week after. They will get done. And I will maintain my health. I can't give my best to you if I'm not healthy. So that's my happy share today. What's yours? Go on down there. Tell us what it is. You get to relive it when you share it. So what is this about gratitude? In a moment, I want you to stop the video. And while the video is paused, I want you to real quick zip off a list of 10 things for which you're grateful right this moment. Make five of them big things for which you're grateful. Make five of them small things for which you're grateful. And I'm not gonna give you any more guidance than that, except pause the video now and come back after you've written your list. Well, welcome back. So take a look at your list. Take a look at those five things that you listed as the small things. If you, any one of those things wasn't in your world at this moment, how would you feel? What would you be missing? How would your experience be different? Are they really little things? How about those big things? Are they really big things when you really pause to look and compare them to the little things? You know, things are only big or small when compared with something else. In fact, you can click a link up there and you'll be able to see a video I made on that whole topic a while ago. For now, observe your world and what you have for which to be grateful. And you know what, every time I feel upset, I just stop the upset and I list off 10 things for which I'm grateful right that moment. Do you think the upset goes away? You better believe it does. Now, if you're on the metaphysicalinternational.com page, you look up there, you will see a page called Hold a Space For. And on that page is a list of names and things that people want to manifest in their world. It hasn't happened yet. So if there's something you'd like in your world that's not happening yet, go in down there, tell us what it is, I'll add it up there. Come back at least once a week. This is something I do every day. Just read the name and what it is a person wants to manifest in their life. The universe knows who they are, you don't have to. Tell your family and friends to do the same thing. Because you know what happens? When you're requesting something, it goes out and the universe hears it and acts on it and delivers it if it's in your highest and best interest and when it is. And because you might be asking for the opposite of that all the day, which most people do, most people think affirmations don't work because they're doing that. When you put out the thought form, it's about this big, right? But what if five, 10, 50, 100 people put out that same thought form? The universe is gonna see it. The universe is gonna get that you're seriously request now if you haven't done so already going over there fill in your name and email address i'll send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path if you haven't done so already going over there fill in your name and email address i'll send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path i really appreciate your clicking like and share let the world know we're here a lot of people out there these days 
are on a spiritual path. They don't know exactly what they're looking for. You usually know when you find it. So let people know we're here because maybe we're what they're looking for. I wish you a wonderful week filled with blessings. And the more you practice gratitude, not just now and then, but all during the day, the more you'll have for which to be grateful. What a wonderful blessing that is.